There are many amazing Canadian stories that have not been told enough, and Mary Ann Shad Carries is one of them. Mary Ann Shad was the second African American to get a law degree and the first African American woman in North America to publish a newspaper. She also established a racially integrated school. She was born on October 9, 1823 in Wilmington, Delaware to Abraham Doras Shad and Harriet Burton Parnell, free African Americans. She was the eldest of 13 children. Her parents were activists and their house was a station on the Underground Railroad. In 1851, Mary Ann attended the first North American Freeman Convention held outside the United States. She was the only woman attending. While she was there, she was convinced to take a teaching position in Canada West. She settled in Sandwich, now Windsor, where she opened her racially integrated school. She also wrote educational booklets that outlined the advantages of Canada for African Americans and escaped slaves looking for somewhere to settle. She then moved to St. Catharines and then Toronto, where she met her husband, Thomas Carey. Mary Ann wanted to promote immigration to Canada, so in 1853, she started a newspaper called the Provincial Freeman that told people about the successes of African Americans living free in Canada. She was the first African American woman to publish a newspaper, although she had to have a man stand in for her as the apparent publisher. In her later years, Mary Ann helped push for women's rights, and she herself was the first black woman to vote in a national election. All in all, Mary Ann Shad Carey was an amazing woman with a lot of firsts.